So, with my notebook. So, this is a quick uh, Q&A. I forgot to do the intro, so, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. And, um, yeah, back to the video. First question is, can you give me money? No. I will not be doing such thing. Why would you... Anyways, uh, second question. Is it gay to kiss your homies good? I'm not gonna lie. Why am I acting like I've not read these questions before? <laughs> I've read these questions before. Anyway, is it gay to kiss your homies good night? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I would no. I will not condone such behavior. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, but the rest are good questions in it, I promise. I promise. The rest are actually good, decent questions in it. Um, third question. Favorite movie? I'm not gonna lie. I have a few favorite movies. I have a few favorite. <sighs> I'm gonna keep on getting into it tonight. I have a few favorite movies. I'm not gonna lie. I have um one. It's called Enter Galactic. You should watch it. It's so good. It's so so good. It's about yeah some dookie, dookie some guy yeah that went to um that that that, that does some comic thing yeah. And then finds love, yeah? And his ex tries to get with him. And it doesn't bang. Then he gets caught with his ex's hoodie. And then, yeah. And then it's just, it's cold. I'm not going to lie. It's the hardest movie out there. Second movie is probably the most recent Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I think that's what's called. Beyond the Spider-Verse. Whatever it's called in it. That one. That one's pretty good. Those are my favorite movies. Right. As of right now. Uh, but Enter Galactic on Netflix. You should watch it. Uh... What's your favorite fragrance? You know what, yeah? I'm a I'ma put you guys on game. I'ma put you guys on game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm not gonna lie. You see. You have Paris de Bleu. Paris de Bleu is is uh, is the hardest. It's so hard. Like you just gotta do a little uh, 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 and do a little one. Uh, there. That one, this one here, I'm not gonna lie. If you're smelling like avocados at home, yeah, this one here, does does, does wonders. I'm not gonna lie. And then, yeah, you mix it with the little huh, guiltless, guiltless for him. You know what I'm saying? Guiltless for him or her, whoever you want to smell nice for. Guiltless for him. You should get it. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. You do the shoom shoom. You know what I'm saying? Do a little shoom shoom. You know what I'm saying? Because when summer arrives, yeah, and girls are smelling your armpits and it's not smelling good, yeah, don't be. You know what I'm saying? So, guiltless for him. And Paris de Blais, you know what I'm saying? It's fantastic. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Any other spray is disgusting. You have Dior Sauvage, that's trash. Louis Vuitton, trash. Tom Ford, that's the... Tom Ford's pretty good as well. Um, Versace, trash. All of these other ones, trash, man. God, nah. Just, just, just absolutely terrible. Just not good for the brand. Absolutely not good for the brand. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite uh, things. I feel like I'm rushing through the questions in it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow myself down. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm. Gonna. As no, I, I promise, like, and even, even it's, it, it was, it's been a weird it's, these past few months. And me, knowing out, I'm, 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 I'm gonna relax. What do you think is the most overrated fashion trend? I'm not gonna lie. You see the fashion. You see. You see the. Uh, you see where you know the. I don't know if it's a fashion trend or not yet. But you see now, you know when fashion isn't fashion anymore. It's just the, what the, what's the most weirdest thing you could wear? You know what I'm saying? You have people wearing like you have people wearing some big baggy black jacket, yeah, in 40 degrees weather and some fat like 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 trousers, yeah, that don't even like fit to their legs. It's just this. So they're like what's the point? Or the or the oh the ripped jeans, you know when they had ripped jeans? Oh my day. Ripped jeans and like ripped clothing was trash, bro. Like, what's the point of even wearing? Like, you know when girls, yeah, would wear the trousers, yeah, and like literally the whole trousers ripped. Like, what's the point? J why even wearing the trousers anyway? Like, it was, it's, it, nah. That's one, that's, that's one I don't like. It's, it's, it's absolutely atrocious. Um, I think that's about it. Also, like right now, you know when people like, people like chase fashion, fashion, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when people just, Say, you know when people say, um, people wear this so they think they know how to dress now, or people wear Timberlands or Tims and they think they know how to dress. Like, I've never understood that. Like, 
If you like what you want and wear it, you know what I'm saying? If you like to wear a bin bag, wear a bin bag. You know what I'm saying? If you get violated, you get violated. But if I see, I think whatever you wear is cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're comfortable and you like what you're wearing. Um, what do you look for? <laughs> what do you look for first in a girl? Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> in my past, uh, my past uh, experiences, um, I'm talking from like year ten. I'm I'm not gonna. I might have to. I might yap here a little bit. But from like year ten, I'm not gonna. I've not had good experiences. Not had good experiences with girls. Um, my wrist absolutely atrocious. Like. In my past experiences, it's been a bit, a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a bit tough. Um, your boy's been heartbroken before, <laughs> and it's 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 taught me a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's taught me. It's taught me a lot. And what I what I do realize is that you always need a girl that has the same goals as you. Like I look for a girl that's goal driven in it. Like they have they have something about them. Like they they. They have a goal. They have something they want to achieve. They're not just there for basic boring stuff. Like, they're not just there. You know what I'm saying? Have something that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Have something. If that you do, that doesn't mean you need to have, like, a business or, like, a, you know, like, something crazy about you. You just need to... I just need to know that you, you know, you have at least a bit of common sense. And, you know, you have, you have a goal at the end of the day. Like, you have something you're chasing. That doesn't mean you have to chase the bag. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to always be hustling and chasing the bag. That's not what I'm trying to say. But you just need to just have a direction you're trying to go to. You know what I'm saying? And if that direction matches what I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? That's how you blend. You know what I'm saying? That's how we blend. And then the rest, you know what I'm saying? And also, I want, like, you know, the religion and I'm Christian. You know, I want my God to be Christian. Um, don't make it all political. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not listening. That's just me. I want my God to also be Christian. But, um, yeah, that's what I look for in a girl. Uh, choose one person you've grown with in 2023 that's not your girl. I have a girl. No, I'm joking. Uh, choose one person I've grown with in 2023. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've grown with a lot of people. There's been so many people I've grown with, so many different aspects of life uh, in 2023. One person I would like to say uh, is my best friend, Daniel. Like, this guy has helped me in ways he doesn't even understand he has. <laughs> also helped me biggest pet peeve yeah big i don't even know what a pet peeve is properly i'm not gonna lie because nowadays everything is a pet peeve you know the trend where they say oh nah 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 you know what you know, <laughs> i'm about to go off bro. oh my days oh. um you know when girls say um what, what do they say they say uh as a man you as a man you should be doing this as a man you should be doing that should, as a man why are you playing football after nine o'clock as a man why are you why are you a mother's boy what, what does that even mean bro? What, do, what do you mean as a man why am i a mother's boy what, 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 what do you mean man what do you mean you know what i'm saying like bro as a man why are you hanging around with your friends as a man bro then this one as a man why are you crying like, bro, a man can cry, you know what I'm saying? I'm, no, I'm joking. A man can cry, though. Like, he can cry. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If they cry, they cry. You know what I'm saying? They've probably been trying to hold that in for too long, and then the the boils kept on boiling, you know what I'm saying? And they had a little row, man. They had a little row. But, um, yeah, a man can a man can cry. But, um, yeah, just, you know, when God say, as a man, that's my pet peeve. I don't know if that's under the regulations of pet peeve. But, um, yeah. That's my kind of pet peeve, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 